Falcon Punch. Everyone, it is your favorite kind of punch. Falcon Punch 996, the unrated king, the recommendation master, and of course, YouTube's number one Doro Hidoro fanboy. Back to bring you guys another new video. Today on What the Fucktober, we'll tackle the messed up take on a classic Japanese folktale, Cyber Momotaro, which was requested for me to check out by GearDog24. Which, don't forget, you guys can request series, whether it be anime, manga, movies, comics, or cartoons that you thought were weird, or just plain messed up, for me to check out in the future of the segment. However, before we get into Cyber Momotaro, let me give you guys some background information on the original story the series was based on. Momotaro, or Peach Boy, is a Japanese hero folktale of a young boy who came to Earth in the giant peach and was adopted by a couple, who Momotaro tells that he was sent from the heavens to be their child. Years later, Momotaro grows up to fight demons along with his three animal friends, the dog, pheasant, and monkey. But with that out of the way, we'll see how this manga fucks up a beloved Japanese classic. Cyber Momotaro, right off the bat, has Momotaro going off to fight demons. However, unlike the folktale, Momotaro is brutally defeated. And if you think that's bad, his girlfriend in the series just outright dumps him for his loss. What a total bitch. On the edge of death, he's then transformed into a cyborg because that is somehow possible in ancient Japan. However, with the newly upgraded body, he comes back and punches the demon's brain out. Despite the victory, he no longer has a place to go back to, as for some reason cyborgs are looked down upon in this world. Yeah, it's never really explained, but people in the series were just abnormally dicks to cyborgs. And from here on out, this series just goes into a downward spiral of what the fuckery. As we get random time skips and design changes from Momotaro, go through extreme and, I will admit, pretty damn badass over the top violence, such as punching people's faces off and ripping out their eyeballs, as well as fight crazy ass demons such as a stripper assassin and freaking Astro Boy from hell over here. But rather than go through everything, I might as well just talk about some random chapters I found to be the most extreme. First off, we have the story where Momotaro joins a freak show and falls in love with their dancer, Inko. However, while trying to protect her from a man troubling her, Momotaro pretty much brutally kills the guy, revealing his cyborg nature, which I don't know where it became a lot more demonic looking. Yeah, Momotaro the hornless cyborg my ass, he fucking punched his face off! Where seeing this bloodshed, Inko refuses to go with Momotaro, leaving him heartbroken once again. The next chapter has Momotaro fighting off an evil artist and her two fuckboys, who use innocent women's blood as paint for their splatter art. Now if you think that's fucked up, wait until you see how Momotaro kills them all. Momotaro kills one of the fuckboys by basically punching his face off again, and deals with the other one by, I'm assuming, punching through his asshole causing his body to split. Now I know that sounds weird, but honestly that's what it looks like to me. As for the evil artist, Momotaro deals with her by pissing, which as it turns out, his piss is actually gasoline. And once she's covered with his piss, he lights the bitch up. Once again people, he's a hormless cyborg. The next chapter has Momotaro literally down in the dumps, reminiscing on his life while fapping to Inko. Realizing his life is pretty shitty, Momo decides to get some help in order to feel better about himself. However, the therapist he manages to get strips him of what is left of his humanity until he realizes he is awesome for who he really is. Or so we think as he kills the therapist for giving him false hope. Damn Momo, he couldn't just give the guy some feedback, no need to straight up murder him. Anyways, we move on to the final chapter of this series that has Momo go up against an angel monk who is trying to finally send him to the afterlife. Not wanting to die, Momo kills the monk and lives on. I guess, because the series just ends after that. There really isn't that much to say about this series, it's just a really weird, violent, and at times sloppy take on a Japanese folktale. While there are some parts to be enjoyed, but I honestly felt the series, if given the proper story and was fleshed out to more than just a single volume, could have been actually a quite interesting read. But in the end, it is quite literally a bloody mess. Stick around next time as on What the Fucktober we'll be taking a look at Japanese splatter cinema with the cult classic, The Machine Girl.